You know, a movie whose title is basically an incomplete sentence could have been a lot worse. Taken 2. Liam Neeson killed a lot of people in the first Taken after they kidnapped his daughter and now the loved ones of all those sex trafficking baddies want revenge. Isn't it nice when you can sum up a movie's plot that quickly? <laughs> so to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first Taken, so I really wasn't looking forward to this, and then with all the negative reviews on my mind, I kinda just went to the theater thinking, why am I in here? I can just leave. But the movie started and eventually in my head I was just thinking, hmm, this really isn't that bad. I actually prefer the first half hour of this movie to the original Taken. Um, Liam Neeson is just going through life, trying to be there more for his family, his ex-wife and, and his daughter. So he invites them out to Istanbul to join him after he completes a job. So the bad guys, realizing this, decide to go after Liam Neeson, his ex-wife played by Fonky Jensen, and his daughter played by Mackie Grace. Of course, Liam Neeson looks at the situation and realizes that he needs to kill all these guys and get him and his family out of there. And the movie, in terms of quality, stayed in that steady zone of definitely not good, but it's not bad either, and it just occasionally fluctuated between, oh, that was actually kind of cool, and oh, wow, that was really stupid. Like, uh, the part where they ripped off the music from Drive and had Liam Neeson going through corridors looking for his ex-wife, that was actually kind of cool. Um, Maggie Grace throwing the grenades without actually looking around. <laughs> that was really stupid, but at least it was funny. Maybe it was because my expectations were fairly low going into this that I just didn't hate it as much as others seemed to. But with this latest flick coming from Olivier Megalton, you have you get competent acting, some quick action, the hand fights were okay. It was the car chase that I had no idea what was going on during. Um, the sound editing could have also used some work, like you don't always hear the guns firing and the, the climax of this movie was a little awkward because I, I don't understand how those last two kills were ki actually kills. You literally see Liam Neeson do this to a guy and then it cuts and it's like, wait, he's dead? Did he, did he snap his neck or something? And then right after that he does this. <laughs> And it's like, that, that's not a kill either. You, you gently pushed him into what looked like a coat rack. But in the end, even though I don't regret seeing this in theaters, I feel like this movie would make for a solid rental. You watch it at home and go, hmm, that actually really wasn't that bad. In fact, part of me kind of liked it. So, so it might seem a bit harsh, but I'm actually going to give this a 2.5 out of 5. For me, a 3 or above is actually me saying, hey, why not check this out in theaters? But I think this movie would make for a very good rental. Um, so if this video ends up finding an audience, tell me what you thought of the movie. Did you like it more than I did? Did you hate it more than I did? I welcome all comments. And if you like this review just now, why not subscribe so you can get plenty more content.